apply the solder paste on the component and load the component on that foot here. <laughs> okay. I open the arm now. I correct myself because I now going down with the arm to where I want to pick up the component. See? I carefully now go down with the arm over the component. I switch on the vacuum. I carefully lift up the vacuum and the component out of the Cancel. Very careful. You mean carefully because otherwise the knife sort of the base holds in, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we can check whether we found all the material out. We can have a double check. If it is clean, we can bring the component over the area that we want to do the placement. I have been there before, so that probably is not smart to do it twice. But just once and lock it again and bring down the component like this and now I start the alignment and that usually is done with the QFN in some iterations so I first do it high and then I go down You may wonder why I did not do the same procedure like Franz did with the click. Because sometimes you see the pattern underneath the component. You will see whether we need to do the clicks here as well. But I believe for that QFN, we still see where we align. You see? I see. I see the pattern. I see the pads here and there and there and I can align I can align according to the pattern and I'm not going down totally because then I would squeeze the material now I switch off the vacuum with the powder and the QFN is placed on the on the pad structure so we we see that one could do it even a little bit better here but I would not guess here. not here what the hell is no apps hmm? no right position theta is not mm -hmm. good could be why I did why I stopped here is one very important point when you do this and when you do the application the presentation at your customers and that happens it can be used as a as a positive fact because you can say before you start the soldering you have a double check right I mean that things go wrong might might happen so it, it can be accepted as long as we don't damage the PCB as it is like we take off the chip and we do it better it is nothing lo lost just 15 minutes mm -hmm. but we see in that system something placement before reflow and when you look around what which system gives you this this feedback you cannot find any because usually the split optic is out and who of your customers bringing back the split optic after placement? Nobody. Because after placement you come down with the solder nozzle. 
So what I show you here is something which is maybe good, maybe not good. So maybe it swims in all these effects we have, but we can make a decision, and the decision is given by, this, by the vision system. So even so that we say now, we, we, we feel that the resolution is not well enough. So we want to have more, more optical power, and we want to have it much done much better. We can even go and say, let's look for a different optical system, and we repeat the same process, and we repeat it again. Okay. Uh, no light on the head. In what way do you suggest the customer to light up the bench? To light up the bench? Um, very diffuse. So we don't want to have direct okay. light. This light this is now good. This light is good. It's I good? Yes. This light is good. And it's not uh, too much reflection. Oh, you don't see the reflection here. It is a very No, no, no. Before, when we take a look uh, on the quad flat back, soldering joint, <coughs> we can see that there is a, a big reflection from the soldering joint and it is not possible to see the quality. But the if you change the light, do you think we can uh, obtain something better or...? Mm. Um, for this application, for alignment procedure, it is okay. And for the inspection? <coughs> for inspection, depends what is the appearance of the PCB. For that PCB, I find it quite nice. When you want to change... Um, Have you regulation of the light, of the image, on the software or not? The regulation of the... Yes, we can, we can control the parameters. We can control the brightness. Okay. So we can go darker. Oops, that is probably too dark. <laughs> and we can give more contrast. <laughs> and we can even sharpen the picture yeah. if we want to have it. Yeah. So, yes, so, so just to show you a little bit the, okay. the possibility. So you have a regulation. There is something where everybody has a different opinion about things. Mm -hmm. But you can make it smoother, softer or sharper, harder. Mm -hmm. Too much light would wash out the camera. Yeah, it keep, generates a blur. <coughs> yeah. it's too much, too wide out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And too much sharpness makes too much pixel noise. Mm -hmm. Just one more question uh, for the placement mm -hmm. of this uh, QFM. When you switch off to the vacuum, is there no risk that the solar paste will be uh, somehow scripted in the belts? Because you, you switch off, and then it's going down. It sits uh, down, yes. So is there any risk that uh, the solar paste is not... Uh, I think the more, more risk would be putting too much pressure on yeah. it during yeah. placement and, and, and let it, instead of letting it... To just switch off? Yeah. Yes, just let it drop very... very yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.